Hey everyone, I'm so excited to share today's video. In this second installment of the Spotlight series, I'm highlighting another of my favorite brands, Lanshin. The line is stunningly handcrafted and effective, and also helmed by someone I genuinely admire. Her kindness, radiance, and patience are all traits I aspire to. Today, I'll be sharing with you three exquisite products from her line along with demos. Please remember, I am not a licensed traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, so please refer to the description box for more information. But first, let's dive into a bit of the brand's background. Sandra Lanshin Chu is a licensed acupuncturist, Chinese herbalist, and founder of Treatment by Lanshin. She is quite the wonder woman, and her academic and career resume is jaw-dropping. I encourage you to visit their website to read more. The brand and studio are in Brooklyn, New York, here in the US. Treatment by Lanshin is a holistic healing studio using nature-based principles of traditional Chinese medicine to transform skin. While the studio offers many treatments, the brand's mission is to bring traditional Chinese medicine, commonly known as TCM, into daily lives as self-care practices to offer a nourishing perspective on deeper dimensions of beauty and vitality. And just so you know, I'm quoting from their website because it's worded so perfectly. One of the many qualities I admire in Sandra is her ability to learn, adapt, and improve. She does this not only in her practice, but in the designer for tools as well. I purchased the Lanshin Pro Guasa tool on the left back in March of 2019. This one on the right is her latest design. You can tell there's quite a difference in the angles of the tool, and having tried both, I've noticed a difference in feel as well. While the old one is almost imperceptibly weightier than the new one, this latest iteration wins in all departments. The upgraded shape and lighter density make this tool much more comfortable to hold, even though the previous one was already extremely pleasant. The updated dips on the top and sides hug contours of the face better than the previous one, and the comb edge is much smoother and less angular, making it more gentle in the best way when used. Having used this new one, I know this tool is much more refined in so many ways. In use, you can feel all the positive advancements Sandra has put into this tool. It's a work of art in both form and function. There's no better way to talk about these tools than to show them in action. Here are a few of my favorite skincare items to use with these tools. For facial gua sa, I look for hydration and emollients. I want my skin to be comfortable, hydrated, and have enough slip for the tools to do their work. Keep in mind that facial gua sa is another great way to help your skincare really sink in and work their magic. So if there's any top skincare you'd like to absorb to its fullest, use them with facial gua sa. All of these items will be linked in the description box below. Please know I am not trained in traditional Chinese medicine. 
I've learned everything in my facial gua sa routine from watching Lan Shin's videos here on YouTube, which are also linked in the description box. You can see I'm generously spritzing a hydrosol to build my first layer of hydration. I'll repeat until I feel like my skin is moist on its own and ready for a facial oil or balm. I've already done my body care here, but on days when you're just doing facial gua sa, make sure you bring your skincare down to your neck, shoulders, and decolletage. Finally, I'm applying three to four drops of facial oil. First up is the Lanshin Pro Gua Sa Tool. The Pro Tool is made of nephrite jade. As with all Lanshin tools, it's handcrafted from authentic natural stones. This tool is for facial Gua Sa. It increases circulation, energizes the skin and tissues, and relieves tight muscles and fascia. The Pro Tool's design includes a dip at the top and sides, a comb, and a lip edge. To me, these accents help to incorporate more advanced facial gua sa and provide more vibrant results. This full facial gua sa routine will be timestamped in the description box below for any future reference. Every facial gua sa routine starts at the neck. The number of strokes is entirely up to you, but a good rule of thumb is five strokes per movement. I usually do five to 10, or more depending on how that area is feeling. For the neck, you can go in both up and down motions. So if you do five strokes moving upwards, you can follow with five strokes downwards. All movements happen to both left and right sides. Again, it's up to you which side to do first. You also want to make sure you have as much skin to tool contact as you can meaning the stone should lay flat or closest to flat against your skin for best results. You may also notice that I am wiggling the tool at the end of each stroke. This feels great, especially if you suffer from tension. Sandra's original Pro Tool tutorial is linked below, and she, of course, does a much better job explaining each movement and its benefits than I ever could. Also, I won't be showing a full set of each stroke just to keep this video from getting too long. Just remember to keep the number of strokes the same for each side. In terms of pressure, you always want to go lighter than you think you should. If your skin turns red, you're most likely applying too much pressure and should go slower and lighter. In areas on the face like around the eyes, you want to use feather light strokes. Remember, facial gua sa is a game of slow beauty. Devote time to your facial gua sa routine and be patient. I see the best results when I'm doing facial gua sa at least three times a week. You don't always have to do the full routine either. If you can only spare a few minutes in the mornings or evenings, you can cater to that by doing fewer movements and concentrating on areas most important to you, whether that's the eyes, cheeks, or jawline.
second is the Lanshin Sculpting Spoon in Nephrite. This has both a round edge and a flat edge, and is perfect for precision work. Sandra calls this a booster tool, and I use this alongside the Pro Tool. It's excellent for draining puffiness, such as under the eye, releasing jaw tension and sinus congestion, and offers a myriad of added sculpting effects, such as cheek sculpting. I've also linked an IGTV from Sandra discussing the sculpting spoon's benefits and how to use it. You may notice some movements are repeated between the Pro Tool and the Sculpting Spoon. On days where I don't want to do a full facial gloss out routine, I'll opt for the Sculpting Spoon instead. It helps to sculpt while still providing relief from jaw tension. The same goes for the eye area. It's a joy to apply eye cream and balms with the Sculpting Spoon. The tool cools as you apply the product and feels refreshing in the mornings and soothing in the evenings. Another great way to reduce puffiness and help your skincare sink in.
The third is the Lanshin Massager by Acera. It is incredibly adorable and is the only massage tool in my collection. It's made of porcelain glazed with crushed tourmaline crystal and comes with a silicone sleeve and cap at the top. When filled with hot water, this becomes a heated tool and delivers far infrared heat, which boosts circulation, relaxing and melting muscle and tissue tension. What's extra special is that you can use this tool on the face and the body. When used on the face, I reserve it for the jaw and neck. It too helps tremendously with jaw tension, and when heated, feels extra pleasant in working out knots. It's also excellent for relieving shoulder tension and pain. I tend to feel the workday most in my shoulders, and this melts it all away. And since we're in the peak of summertime, this porcelain tool can also be extremely cooling when used at room temperature. To heat the tool, pop off the cap and fill with boiling water. Boiling water allows it to remain heated for around 30 minutes. Make sure to leave a bit of room at the top to pop the cap back on without spilling any hot water. Because this tool is porcelain, I always fill and cap it on top of a kitchen towel to make sure it doesn't slip or build pressure against a hard surface. Always check the temperature before using the tool. I like to test it on the inside of my lower arm. You can use this tool on bare skin or over clothing. First things first, remove any jewelry. I'm a bit more cavalier when it comes to using the massager. Anything that feels good goes. I usually do a mix of circular and lengthwise movements.
course, when it comes to the back, it can be helpful to ask a loved one to jump in for those hard to reach areas. When you're done, just empty the water into the sink. Be careful if the water inside is still hot. Last but not least, make sure to wash your tools at the end of each use. Simply use soap and water to clean them. Sometimes I let them dry in the sunlight so the stones can absorb some of that energy. I am so grateful for Sandra and Ilana's kindness, conversation, and camaraderie. It's because of these two generous ladies that I have the pleasure of showing you these beautiful tools in action. If you're on the lookout for facial gua sha tools or a massager, I really can't recommend these enough. The quality will undoubtedly surpass all expectations and the functionality is unrivaled. I think of these 100% as professional tools because of the results they deliver. Please also check out Lanshin's website, YouTube, and Instagram because there are many gems of knowledge posted throughout these platforms. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't, I'll direct you towards the wonderful ladies of Lanshin. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. See you guys next time.